Welcome back, my loyal subjects of Funk, to this last Funking play of Attila Total War, Fall of the Western Roman Empire, and things are going absolutely spiffing. Um, oh, wonder if we can make peace with the Markan. Let's have a look on the uh, diplomacy tab. Let's have a have a pop around there. Oh, we're not even at war with them, and why should we as well? They're very neutral towards us, in a sense. Let's have a look and see who hate the separatists. Apart from us. Ooh. These lot hate. The hell? So, this is something I didn't understand last time. The separatists don't like the Sassanids. The Sassanids like the separatists. <laughs> That's a, it's a, a funny thing, that. So, they don't really like us much. See, everything else is just basically the same. But, um, anyway, we took the whole of Tripoli. Um, we might have to go and destroy Africa at some point, but that'll upset our allies, Hispania and uh, Moranians, and the Germanians who have a defensive alliance with the Morians. So I'm going to keep them sweet for now, because I think there's more pressing matters to attend to, including uh, Constantinople. You have the ear of my people. Lord, we are now, we must be now the strength ranking, number one, I assume. Yeah, that'll make us number one then. We are strength ranking number one. Uh, trustworthiness, steadfast, Imperium, terrifying. Which is wonderful. We're doing amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and level these generals up like a demon. Um, what do we want here? Morale versus barbarian kingdoms. I'm going to go for public order in the local province. And we'll talk to this guy. And we will give him... Uh, what we got here? Research faction wide. Might as well give him that. We need to get this uh, research up to some degree. I think. So. Oh, replenishment up by three. I'll go for that. Um, we're still stuck here for a turn. Minus 42 at the moment. But we have enough money left to repair all of these right now. It's a military port. We might want to change that to another fishing port. And we might want to upgrade the reservoir. We're making 7,000 coins again this term. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try and hinder this army. It might stop them from reaching uh, Sabrata. And it's a critical success. Which means he can't reach Sabrata next turn. Brilliant! Um, that keeps that settlement safe. I don't even want this piece of land because it's not a complete uh, settlement. Let's have a look here. Investigate corruption, we'll get that. Oh no, wait on. We'll definitely get that. We need to bring that down in so many places, corruption. Because it's just an absolute nightmare. I'm going to go ahead and now destroy this piece of siege equipment because it's too expensive for me, I think. Um, right, so we're taking Constantinople. We'll go ahead and repair as much of this as we can. We haven't got much money left. Don't particularly want to repair that one. Ooh. Go ahead and get rid of that one. Hmm. We've got 600 coins left. Definitely repair the reservoir. Right. Let's just check this public order because we have to be very careful. Getting minus one here now. Getting plus six there. Plus seven here. Plus eleven there. Is that completely Christian now? No, it's not. Um, again, I thought I was, I would have had that sorted, but turns out I haven't. Minus six here, we need to sort that out. Plus one there, minus three here. We'll get this sorted uh, this session, hopefully, guys. Let's um, go ahead and end the turn. I want to get one guy back up to here. I want the other one to go back up to Carfago and sit in Carfago. And um, then we can bring the Navy out and hopefully bring the Navy down here. We'll see, that was very good, that. Pleased about uh, hindering him. It pleased me a great deal. We could take this, and that would really upset um, Carthage, but is it really worth it? I mean, we'll only lose it to rebels in the end. Oh, shit. Oh, Eastern Empire. That we're now at war with. Amazing. We do want to get one of the fleets around here, so we can uh, 
destroy infantry. Yeah, we're going to have to do that, I think. I think I know a way to do it as well. Hopefully these lot will be able to capture something. If they do capture something, then they'll be very happy to sign a military uh, alliance with them. Because then we'll be effectively absorbing them into the Empire. We'll take a look at... Um, Oh, Ptolemy there. Oh, shizzle. I didn't expect that. Are they going to be able to just siege that straight off the bat? Yeah, I'm afraid. Oh, well, it just means we're going to destroy one of their armies in the following turn. Oh, shit. It doesn't because we don't have any siege equipment, for fuck's sake. Um, okay. A minor setback, assholes. We'll sort that out. We'll bring one into the ocean and go in there. We'll get this. That's really annoying, actually. What have they gone and done there? Have they occupied it? Don't know what they've done. But if they haven't occupied it, then they're going the fuck down, aren't they? Separatists. Right, that army can't do out. Well. It has, sir. And I am more than willing to go for a peace agreement with you. I'm glad you've accepted that. That makes me really happy. Now we can consolidate for a small amount of time. We have long admired no! Hispania are last on the list. Oh man! We're going to have all of our units down here for a while yet. That was really annoying. Just like that, we'd, we've lost everywhere. Oh no. We need to be able to basically get in here and recover this, otherwise we're knackered. Right. Let's see what we can do. Settlement sacked, plunder, 3,407. Typical. Wavering loyalty. Fuck off. This guy's got wavering loyalty. Piss off, man. Um, let's move him into there. We'll go ahead as well. Don't know what upgrades these have. But we'll get the horse upgrades. We'll get him the horse upgrades. Certainly do. We'll do all of them. Not bad at all, actually. I did a lot of them. Who do we want to leave on the front? Hmm. Probably want to leave this guy. He's well more defensive-minded. So I'm going to leave this guy in marker man's marker mad is. Right, easy win. So we'll end up getting this back very fast. And we'll replenish like a demon. Not a problem there. Should maybe have took the money actually. And then uh, move this guy over to Sabarata. And we'll take uh, that back. And then he can go back up to Carthage. And I'll just leave, for now, just the one military unit. Occupy. So not bad, sorted out, and we killed another army of the enemies, which makes me exceedingly happy. How are we doing up here? Minus 17, so we still have a couple of turns to get up there. Um, yeah, we'll move him into here. Who do we really want to leave up there, though? I mean, we're not doing too bad here. I'm going to put him back into a standard stance. Minus 10 here now, which is really nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the guardhouse. As we are... Uh, yeah. Oh, no, maybe not. We need to fucking fix everything again. Let's go ahead and fix everything, because it's too important. Oh, God. I've sacked everywhere. We'll do Sabrata first, because it's nice and... Uh, cheap. But we are now bringing a shitload of uh, food into the Empire, which is just absolutely spot on. Uh, what are we in October at the moment, so... I mean, we're doing alright. I'm pleased with this. I am pleased with the progress made so far. I'm gonna... How are we doing here? We have recovered that. Don't do that. Uh, ooh. It's defence still isn't, you know, good enough. Shit. I'm gonna kill him. Needs to die. This guy needs to die. Right, we'll ruin you, sir. Shit, how they get all these really good units. Uh, 
kill the captives because you fuckers got one of my units dead there. Pissed off about that. Let's move him back. Ah, oh, shit. Ooh, what are these? Mercenary warriors. Very cheap, in fact. Um, I want one of these. Got to get one of them, and I know I get a lot of criticism for hiring these. But I think, you know, if these are come across with, like, an army full of cavalry, what you want is at least one p fucking unit of mercenary Germanic pikes. They will sort everything out. I'm just hoping these don't die. We want to get them recovered. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, we got another upgrade. In Thessalonica. Integrity can go up by two if we want. Or we can go and get the replenishment up. Because it's always a good one to have. Um, I'm going to go for one integrity and one replenishment. We're getting plus 12 here at the moment. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to bring this guy round here. Because I want him up and uh, in Thessalonica alongside this stud. Let's talk to... Let's talk to these lot now. I think we're at war with these because... We are, uh, yeah, we're at war with the Sassanids. The Sassanids will not make peace with us anytime soon. If they did that, we could go ahead with the uh, the colonization project of these lands. I'd like to make peace with them as well. They're really cheesing me off. Let's have a quick Uganda here. Come on, lads. They really don't like me, though. But, um, yeah. We have Constantinople, which makes me really happy. Oh, that's nicely and fully healed now. Is this one fully healed as well? Yeah, we've got two nice navies there. I'm going to move one of them down to here. And then, hopefully, that will be enough. I mean, we could go ahead and actually remove these from the game, because they're doing my tits in. We'll see. We'll see. We need to sort out all these public order problems. That is now sitting on its own, which is wonderful. This spot is not... Um, we need seven pop really so we can get ourselves a good oh we can get an aqueduct right okay oh we've got so much stuff to do and so little money to do it with and um, this is governor so we're going to go ahead and get corruption and then go there and we will get corruption and then go there and we will get corruption and then go there we're going for the food guys but uh, with the following level, but we don't need it immediately. See how our, our money has just went up to 8,000 per turn now, just through what we've done there. Right, so we're now at peace with the Separatists, which is so nice. That makes me really happy. <laughs> Three armies in one, in one province. <laughs> Let's see what the Sassanids do. But if we have a fleet, either in... Thessalonica or in Constantinople then we will be sorted and in fact we should probably think about putting it in Constantinople because it'll have more opportunities to take out um, enemy stacks that might uh, wander into the ocean yeah this is going this is going really well now now we have time to you know sort things out a bit and thanks to the war with the separatists oh yes get in go and occupy it lads Oh, idiots. She just occupied it. Unless they're not actually at war with them. But there we go, there's a prime example of us being able to take down an entire army had we have been uh, in a better position. Wah, 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 wah. And we are ready to fight the battle. Let's have a look what we have here. Okay, oh shit. That. A lot of onagers there. Uh... Yeah, I don't even know what to do with these boats. They're shit. Um, we'll win this. We need to use these to our best advantage, though, to destroy the onagers. But, yeah, it's not a problem. There's so much cavalry there, and we have two Germanic pikes. So, let's get the fuck in and fight this on the map. I'm glad that that... Actually, I was thinking, you know, it's good that they supply us with a few battles to do every now and then because, as I've said to you guys, I don't want to bore the fuck out of you with this uh, campaign, but I don't want it to last, you know, for millennia either. 
I've been doing this one for over a year already. I mean, granted, I did slow down with it for a while. And I wish I kept the momentum up. But it, it's proven to be my most popular set of videos I've ever done, so... Way hey. Right, so how many units? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 units of cavalry. So yeah, they're going to run straight into Germanic Pikes and they're going to hate it. Oh, this is a... Is this an Eastern style settlement? I've never played in a map like this before. No, this was ruled by the Separatists. I don't know if they had time to convert the province. So we'll find out now. Um, we'll move the fleet straight in. And we'll move the other fleet down here. We'll move the other fleet, once we've got our, one of our armies back to Constantinople, we'll move one of the fleets down to this neck of the woods. And we'll think about taking... Yeah, we could actually... We could go ahead and just take that city. Probably in the following turn, providing we hammer these. Which is, uh Crazy. When one thinks about it. We'll have a think about that. Might do it. Snake our way around the whole of Africa. Okay. Ah, brilliant. So we'll go ahead and get... Where's our second unit cavalry? Here it is. Both with nice bonuses there as well. We'll put them there. We will... Ooh! So it is like an Eastern... style... thing. We'll go ahead and just... If we can take out one boat with this, we'll be doing absolutely spot on. Anyway, we've got a barricade to place here, so where are we going to place it? We'll place it there. Maybe not. I mean, look at that. Two fucking entrances there. That's really annoying. So we'll either place it here or here. Either way, it's going to be hard to defend this to a certain degree. Um, go ahead and place them there. Right, yeah, I thought that was going to happen. But we do have these. That fits perfectly. Well, sort of. They could have done with a few more men in the air. Uh, in the army there. But there we go. Yeah, we've got enough missile troops there to last a millennia. Put one there, put one here. And where do we want to put the next one? Hmm. Maybe we don't want that one there. Might just stick them here and put the last unit of these here because even though they don't all fit on. It just means their uh, missile missiles will last longer. So we'll go ahead and stick a Germanic Pikes across this because we are awesome, and a Germanic Pikes across this because we are also awesome. Um, with some Comet Attenses. Yeah, this is the thing actually. We've got to make sure that these aren't. We've got to make sure that the, the Pikes are sticking through, but they're not getting uh, in combat. I don't know if many other people do this tactic. I haven't looked online, I've received a bit of criticism for this, but I think it's like the best thing since sliced bread. It just pushes everybody back, keeps them at bay. And if you've got missile superiority as well, it's just... It's a, an absolute nightmare for them. Right, so we'll put two there. I'm going to put two of these at the back here. And we'll put them in uh, a test two door. We'll put two more here. Right, hold on. So I've never fought a battle in a, a map in a battle in a map like this. There's some guys chilling out in the tent at the moment. I think they're in there. <laughs> and um, yeah, we'll put two across. Two across. What the fung? There we go. Two across there. Same sort of style. And um, we'll put one across here in a similar sort of style. And the rest of the troops can go like with this as well. Put the general here. Just encompasses everyone as well, which is brilliant. Um, yeah, we'll stick all these in there as well. And that is going to be... There we go. There we go, right, okay, we're set up. And we are ready to get the funk underway. I'm going to go ahead and just have these all ram this. In fact, I might go for that one. 
winds at their back. Um, I might even I might even set all these. I've never really thought about this very much. Right, okay, let's go back and sort the cavalry out. We're not even cared, caring about those at the minute. Right, here we go. And we'll go ahead and we'll set this one on, say there. Which is wonderful. And let's go ahead and stick these on a, a, a nice, decent... Oh, they are coming around this way. Which uh, surprises me a little bit, but it's nothing we can't handle. The hell? Are we actually hammering these? We took down a couple of ships, guys. Oh, no, we haven't. Oh, we have, but... Oh, get the fuck in! Like, what the hell? <laughs> you were kidding me. I just can't believe we're taking that all down. Right, let's have a look here at the carve. Yeah, we've sorted this out. Oh! Go on, shatter them, you Nazis. Right, we've got no problem in winning this now. It was just a case of destroying this. Ooh. Enemy units have returned Suspect. Let's... Oh, let's put it... Oh, we can't put it on half. Oh, because that's part of legendary mode. There we go. We should have put that one earlier, actually. Go and get them, because these keep firing fucking rocks at us. Here we go. The enemy is boarding a ship. Fight back. Yeah, I don't intend to win this. I'm surprised we sunk all of them with so little. Really, I'm surprised. Do you mind? These got stuck. Oh shit, we're losing cavalry. Take these out for fuck's sake. Their general is dead. As he should be, he'll have died on the pikes. The ship is sinking. All hands lost. Not a problem really, is it guys? Because if they're going to step off those boats, they're going to get hammered. We must have took down a couple of theirs, or we have. By the looks of things. Go ahead and get that one. We can catch these right on the side. If we are lucky. Only 20 seconds. Oh, here we go. Come on. We can take these fuckers down. Ram them. Oh, you Nazi. Where's that at? Right here. Oh yes, see you later. Oh my god. This is actually the most successful naval battle I've ever done. Oh, we've won this entire thing so easily. <laughs> this has got to be a, hero a heroic victory. Right, that's it, that's it, we've won. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the hell? Would you have a look at that? I'm going to end it. Decisive, apparently, but I thought that would have been heroic. That is unbelievable. We lost 161 men. <laughs> and we hardly even had to kill any as well. Look, and the pikes, as always, did the most of the killing along with the cavalry. Had this cavalry unit not lost uh, so much, we probably would have won this easily. Well, uh, would you win it easily? I mean, uh, heroic easily, should we say. Good old Xerxes. Bad commander as well. Um, and he attacked from the sea, so yeah, that's going to be him absolutely finished. Replenishment 6%. We'll go for that. See you later, pal. We'll chase them.
We'll go on to the... That is just... I don't know what to say. We just absolutely... We're going to go and take Ptolemy. And then we can leave one army in Leptis Magna. And we can have one army in there as well. Fuck it. Why not, you know? We're doing so good. We're just owning this entire war. But there we go. My loyal Spunk Jacks of Funk. As soon as we load into this next turn. I'm going to end this session. Here we go. And I will say to you, thanks for watching and goodbye.